Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to today's Heart to Home. Uh, Brandy here. So uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and open in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come before you right now, and we thank you for this day that you've given us, Lord, that uh, you allowed us to wake up, Father, that you've given us this time to just focus on you and your word, Father. I just lift up this devotional to you, Lord, that you uh, open our ears and our hearts, Lord, to um, what you've given me to share, Father. So we just thank you, we praise you, and it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so um, on Sunday, as we were going through Revelation, Pastor Gary had mentioned Psalm 1, as he was talking about Jezebel and, and how she was leading uh, the flock in the wrong way. And so I ended up reading over that psalm, and there was a few things that uh, really stuck with me um, that I just wanted to share with you guys today. So let's go ahead and read it, starting in verse 1. So Psalm 1, um, I'll give you guys a second to turn there. In verse 1 it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So there's a lot packed into just that, even that first verse. And so I want to take a look at it. And it said, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. And so this here is speaking, where do we get our advice from? Um, when we are going through a situation that we could use advice on, who is our go-to? Who's the first person um, that we ask uh, insight from? Is it your best friend? a family member, uh, someone from church. Um, but we are to seek godly counsel. And although maybe some or all of those people might be um, godly people, our first response should be um, going to God's word and seeing what it has to say. That's the counsel we're to walk in. And even um, ourselves can be the wrong person to get advice from. I think sometimes we can talk ourselves into or out of situations, but we need to go to his word first and see what it says about our situation. Next, we see that we're not to stand in the path or the way of the sinners. Uh, where are our feet standing today? Are both of them standing on the path that the Lord has for us? or? Maybe do we have one foot on his path and one foot on that old path we used to walk on before we knew the Lord? Something to, to keep in mind, something to just think about. Now let's take a look at those we surround ourselves with. Those we hang out with. Are they fellow believers or are they those who don't believe and make fun of us? When they put Christians down, are we correcting them? Or are we just conforming to the group because it's more comfortable than to stand up for our faith? Verse 2 says, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. So what delights us? What makes us happy or gives us joy? Is it family, friends? Uh, fellowship with our church family? While all those are good, here's the big question. Does God's word give us that same happiness, that same joy? Do we get excited when we read his word? Or do we just read it real quick, close our Bibles, and get on with the rest of our day? What I want us to see this morning 
is what and who we are surrounding ourselves with. What are we taking in every day? Are we seeking his word for counsel? Are we walking in his path he has for us? Are we delighting in his word? Or are we doing just the opposite? The psalm started with, blessed is the man, or happy is the person. Are we blessed? Are we happy? Or are we feeling the opposite? If we find ourselves on that opposite side, we need to do one of those self-examinations and see where we need to make those changes. Verse 3 tells us the result of doing what we're supposed to. says, as he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. A tree that is planted next to a river has an endless supply of water and will never go thirsty or wither. It has all it needs and will bear its fruit in due season. I want to be one of those trees planted by the river, don't you? So just a few things for us to go on with our day and to think about and to meditate on and to ponder on. And like I said, if, if uh, you answered yes to some of these questions as to you're on the wrong, um, the wrong path, the wrong side, the wrong group of people seeking the wrong advice, let's do that self-examination and get back into God's word and, and see what he tells us. Let's go ahead and close in prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we do just come before you and we thank you that, that we can come to you, that we can read your word and to get the information and the advice and the counsel that we need in every situation that life throws at us. Father, we thank you for giving us your word. And Lord, we just lift the rest of this day up to you that um, we do meditate on you and, and what we've read today, Father. And and just to do that self-examination, Lord, that to see where we are and where we need to be, Father. So we thank you. We praise you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.